So that is a pipeline that is busted and is flooded the neighborhood. You're gonna have a bad day if you come up on that, right? You got work to do. This is what you know. Alan Dodson's bad day looked like. like it was here. Good Friday, 2013. Uh, Pegasus pipeline ruptured in Mayflower, Arkansas, spilling 3,100 barrels of crude oil. Major events are obviously very rare, but boy, if they happen, you need to be ready. Two years after the spill, Dodson is sharing what he learned with first responders in Cushing, Oklahoma, a town that promotes itself as the pipeline crossroads of the world. You know, I've been there. Uh, hopefully you never encountered this, but here are the kinds of things you're going to see, the kinds of things you need to be prepared for, and the value you add, not only now, but during initial response and during long-term response. So that oil started right here. That's the Pegasus Pipeline right-of-way. Pipeline incidents are extremely rare. TransCanada is committed to a goal of zero safety incidents. One of the steps TransCanada takes is to monitor its pipelines 24-7 in this state-of-the-art pipeline control center. If there is an incident, the pipeline can be shut down remotely in a matter of minutes. Being prepared is important. That's why even though the Mayflower incident had nothing to do with TransCanada, the company hired Dodson to travel across the U.S. as part of a regional town hall program in association with the IAFC, the International Association of Fire Chiefs. So if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I think if we can get more of our emergency responders to pre-plan, it's just going to be so much better if something does happen. Uh, pipeline emergencies can prevent multiple hazards. Jim Rist is a retired New York fire chief. Now he's a representative with the IAFC. A guy back out hit our line. Last year, TransCanada held over 120 safety exercises and drills, just like this one in Yankton, South Dakota. Jim Rist calls the open flow of communication with industry partners like TransCanada vitally important. I am passionate about keeping the personnel safe uh, and professional. The key is pre-planning. Uh, having an idea, that's why there's so much training. The safety exercises and drills are conducted to ensure staff and local emergency responders are prepared in the rare case of a pipeline incident. I think TransCan number one, they actually work with first responders, which that's, that's the first big step. And then communication with the, the terminal here and then employees along the pipeline is, is great. TransCanada has partnered with the Fire Chiefs Association for years, always with a focus on emergency preparedness. Welcome to Pipeline Emergencies 101. One initiative, the First Responders Training Portal, offers pipeline incident training 24-7. An outside observer couldn't help but understand that TransCanada's got uh, good corporate citizenship in mind. Having seen under the hood with what TransCanada does and how it does its business, taking time, spending resources in this initiative when it's so difficult right now in the energy industry, I really think speaks volumes. It's to keep everyone safe. The firefighters, our public, our employees, to everyone be safe and go home, you know, at the end of the day.